What's up, sneakerheads? I'm back in the six. And yo, it's just it's crazy in the city right now. I like it. 2016 marks the first ever NBA All-Star Weekend in Toronto. And a ton of pro basketball players and celebrities are out here in the city, such as Drake, Kyle Lowry, and Kobe Bryant. The hesitation follow a jumper around. Swirls around. Get in there, ball. Get all the road today. There's so much to do in the city right now, but we're checking out the All-Star Sneaker Summit hosted by Soul Exchange Canada. The idea came to me from uh, a young guy who was discussing getting some logos done. And he told me, hey, I want to try and, you know, create this sneaker culture in Canada. Or he started to figure out how I could bring his idea to life. So I literally started cold calling people on Kijiji, looking for people on Facebook, Instagram. The Sneaker Summit is a huge networking and reselling event where sneakerheads can buy, sell, and trade shoes, as well as talk and hang out with other sneakerheads. This year marks their third year running here in the GTA. Soul Exchange Canada couldn't have planned this weekend any better. With the NBA All-Star Weekend here, calls for brand new exclusive shoe releases, and huge brands such as Nike, Adidas, and Air Jordan opening pop-up shops for Toronto sneakerheads to indulge in. Dion Walcott is the co-founder of Toronto Loves Kicks, an organization dedicated to uniting the youth over the common love of sneakers. Um, well, the Sneaker Summit's actually originated in Houston. Um, what's interesting about it is we were in Houston when we were first learning to do sneaker shows, yeah. and then five years later, this, we brought the show to Toronto. From beginner sneakerheads to big name collectors, they all share something in common. Their love for sneakers. The event featured some of the biggest names in the game, such as local sneakerhead model, Hello Cookie, E-Wing Athletics Ambassador, Joshua Finlay, Juno-nominated rapper Famous, and Detroit native and sneaker legend, Mark Jumpman Bostic, who's known for his basement of Jordans. I started back in 1985, when I first saw the Chicago Ones in the white and red colorway, and then the black and red, which people call the bread. I don't use that term, it's black and red. But when I saw those two shoes, I knew that the sneaker culture or sneakers was up for a change because they started to see colors. Currently at 908 pairs. I like the Team Jordans, the Diffusion, the Number Js, the Retro Js, um, the Jordan boots, the boxing shoes. About, and I'll post random pictures on my Instagram or on my social media and people will say, what are those? Because all they know about are the retro. Next week, I talk to the pros about the world of reselling sneakers. I've been coming to every single sneaker convention, and I've actually been selling my pairs now. And found out some of their all-time favorite kicks to run. Now, white on white lows, Air Force. Oh man, it's like a toss-up. It changes like almost every week. 